to Tuesday Truth for Kids. I'm so glad that you're watching and I really hope that today you will learn something about God to help you see how awesome He is, what He has done for you and how much He loves you. We are busy reading together from the book of 1 Peter. It's a book in the New Testament, so that's the second part of the Bible and it was written by Peter. You guessed it. Can you all remember what we learned last week? We saw that Peter was one of Jesus' closest friends and also an apostle, which means someone who was sent out with the message about Jesus. Peter wrote to other followers of Jesus who were all scattered across different provinces. These people were facing all kinds of problems. They were suffering hard things. But Peter wrote to them to tell them how they can live as followers of Jesus on earth while they wait for their forever home in heaven with God. And today we will see the first thing that Peter told them, the first way that they can live. So before we get there, I want to ask you, what do you look forward to? Maybe Christmas, maybe your birthday, or maybe just Friday so you can watch a movie and eat some pizza with your family. Delicious. Do things you look forward to help you to get through something that is difficult? Let me give you an example. Has your mom or dad ever said that they will buy you an ice cream or give you another treat when you clean up your room or help them around the house? When I was little, my mom used to promise that we can go to Wimpy for lunch after I write all my exams. And that lunch at Wimpy made all the difficulty of writing exams and studying worth it in the end. So that feeling of looking forward to something or when we are waiting for something good, that is called hope. We hope for the thing that will happen in the future. And today, when we read from 1 Peter, we will see that people who trust in Jesus can live with hope even when things are really, really hard. Followers of Jesus have something absolutely amazing to look forward to, and that can help them to get through hard things. So let's start with our scripture. We are reading 1 Peter verses 3 to 7. So follow along while I read on the screen, or you can just listen as I read. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief of all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. So what on earth do we notice in this passage? What does Peter say here? So first of all, we see, because of these people's trust in Jesus, who rose from the dead, that's what resurrection means, he rose from the dead, these people are getting from God, new life, hope, and an inheritance. And let's look at the reason why they get this. It says they get this because of God's great mercy to them. So that means all of this they get because God has been kind to them in sending Jesus to rescue them. So it's not because of something that they have done. It's because of God's kindness. The other thing we notice here is that their hope is real because Jesus is alive. So they're, they're not hoping in someone who lived once and was really great and is now dead. No, it says here that Jesus has risen. He's alive. So their hope is real. 
And let's look at the word inheritance. Do you know what that means? An inheritance is something that you get after someone you know and loved has died. So they might leave you something, a gift that once belonged to them, but now that they are dead, they say you can have it. But when we get this gift and inheritance on earth, it can get ruined, it can get stolen, it can get destroyed, and we won't even have it forever. So how is this gift, the inheritance that Peter is talking about, this inheritance we get from God, different? Well, it says here that it will never spoil or fade. It won't get destroyed. It can't be lost because it is being kept safe by God's power in heaven. So this reward, this inheritance, what is it? It is living with God forever. Seeing Jesus face to face, meeting him, living with him forever and sharing in all his glory. So this hope, the future that these people are looking forward to, helps them to go through trials or difficult things. Peter says that they will suffer, but only for a little while. Remember last week's rope, how we said our time on earth is this short, but forever carries on for much longer than that. So the difficult things that these people face will prove that their trust in Jesus is real. And in the end, if their trust is shown to be real, they will receive glory with Jesus and everyone else who has suffered for him. So guys, what on earth does this mean for us? Well, for those of us who trust in Jesus, we also have a new life, we have hope and a future reward that we can look forward to. This reward is certain. Our inheritance or reward that we will get one day when we join God in heaven cannot be lost or stolen or destroyed. So imagine your mom and dad said, if you clean your room, you will get an ice cream. But then when you get to the ice cream shop, you see that everything is sold out and they are closed. Or your mom and dad just break their promise and they don't actually take you to get ice cream. How would you feel? I would be very disappointed. Now, this hope that we have because of Jesus is not like that at all. We can be certain that what God is promising us, we definitely will receive. We also know from this passage for us that we will suffer too, but only for a little while, and it will be worth it in the end. One day we will see Jesus, we will be with him, and we will live with him forever. So even when things are difficult, we can live on earth with hope. Something awesome and great is waiting for us that we can look forward to. And it is being kept safe by God himself. Now I have to say one thing very quickly. This hope is only for those who trust in Jesus. But... The good news is that anyone can belong to God's family and put their trust in Jesus. Anyone can turn from their sin and say sorry to God for all the things they've done wrong. And God will forgive us if we do that. If we turn away from our sin and trust in Jesus, believing everything that he has done for us on the cross, then God will forgive us and welcome us into his family and we will live with him forever. And this hope, this reward can be yours too. All right, guys, that's all for today. Join me next week and we'll see another way that we can live as followers of Jesus on earth. Let's close our eyes now and pray together. God, thank you so much for this amazing hope that we have if we follow Jesus. I pray for those of us who have put our trust in Jesus, that you will help us to be full of joy and hope even in difficult times, and that we will remember the difficult times we face are only for a little while, and that we can look forward to a future forever with you. 
and all of the good things that we will enjoy there. And God, I pray for everyone who maybe hasn't put their trust in Jesus, that they will see and know what Jesus has done for them, how he died for them on the cross so that they can be forgiven for their sin. I pray that you will help us to turn away from our sin, to trust in Jesus and follow him all our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.